So good morning, everybody. Um, this morning, I'm going to be talking about the Jacoby to no Trump bit. And funnily enough, a few moments ago, somebody asked a question um, about how you respond if your partner opens one of a major and you have 15 points in the bit. So we're going to see if that hand comes up. But I have to say that the hand that's in front of us right now looks so dishy. I think we should have a go at bidding this one before <laughs> we talk about, um, about Jacoby. So, uh, <clears throat> so while Tom's thinking about his, let me just introduce my guinea pigs. Sitting north is Tom Schricker, who's currently organizing our new team match league. Um, this is Judy from Seattle. South is Marissa from Madrid. And west is Jake from, I'm not quite sure where, somewhere close to home, I think. Port Lauderdale. Port Lauderdale. Okay, so one heart pass, an opening hand with at least five hearts. Uh, passed by East, very wise. And one spade by Marissa. Very good. Well, do you really want to play two hearts if your partner now says pass? No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, well, you have to ask for another two. Okay. So the thing is that... Um, I might have to. ...really need to make certain that this doesn't get passed out at a low level. Um, so I've gone back too far. Okay, so one spade by Marissa. Somehow we went back a long way. Marissa, make your one spade bid. Marissa, are you there? Did you get lost? Yes, I'm here. What would we like to do? One spade, just the way you did. Okay. Go back to Kim and ask her, you know, she ever found a flip for somebody is talking. I have to mute everybody. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. So the table I was forced to mute you because somebody was having a private conversation in the background. So the question now is what should Tom bid? Because if he bids two hearts his partner might pass. So how many losers do you have in your hand, Tom? Two spades, two diamonds, and a club, a five loser hand. So when partner is good enough to take a bid, they should have no more than nine losers. So nine and five are 14. So I think you should just bid game. It just doesn't say you have a monster when you go like this. You didn't jump shift. Jump shifting would say you have a monster. But you've just got a lot of hearts. You can play opposite a heart void and still probably have no heart losers. You've got seven of them headed by the ace, king, queen. The so four hearts sends that message. Mm, should I understand that he has line 19 points? No, you should understand that he has probably six or seven hearts headed by the ace king, maybe the ace king queen. And all he needed from you was to know that you might have a little something that would cover one or two of his losers. And so he's going to bid what he thinks is the best possible game. I pass. Well, you should be thinking about slam because how many points do you have? 15, 15. You've got the jack of hearts for him. Yeah. Um, so. If he has one of the black aces, then you might very well have a slam. Okay, do I go, we'll start with controls or aces? Um, no, you're going, to, you're going to start with four no trump. Okay. Just to ask him. <clears throat> uh, are, are we doing 1430 here? Yes. Okay. So I've got two. Uh, so I'm going to respond. 
and I've got the queen too. Right. Five, so. Well, so now we have three. We really want to stop. Yes. Very <laughs> well, I can't. <laughs> six hearts. Okay, six hearts. Okay. So, um, what is what is East going to lead? Uh, we have to pass. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what is East going to lead? Uh -huh. Now you might have a chance to make it. Hmm. You might have a chance to make it because um, if you can win your heart and knock out the ace of the you might be able to get rid of it. So you may not have to lose I don't know. So a very bad plan. So Marissa's instincts were to pass were correct. But it's a good thing to think about possibility. He did have um, a black ace. He had ace king, six kinds of, of hearts, and the ace of spades, and then it's a very good proposition. And even with this, I'll bet you that there'll be at least one table that made six hearts. Wow. Well, because the opponents won't figure out what's going on. They might figure it out when they see the dummy. They'll, they'll know that when they see the dummy that you've only got one. And so they'll know that he only had two, so you must be missing two and they'll try to find it. Okay. okay. We're going to go on to our grand lesson for today. I'll just load those uh, boards. You are recording. I am. Well, I'm going to open um, all the cards so that everybody can see and see all, all the and I'm sorry, it says my voice is cutting in out of that I can't control. I'm not in charge of the internet. Do you want me to go ahead, Rosemary? at least five spades. And now let's all look at Marissa's hand. She has four, six, nine, 14 points and, and a fit, very nice fit. So what is she going to bid? Well, Marissa has been down this road before. So she is using the Jacoby Bruno trumpet. Before we move on, I want to talk about the things that she couldn't bid. So could she have bid Hearts. That's a two over one bid. That would say, partner, there's a game here somewhere. But she can't bid two hearts because that would promise five. Now, how do we know that? That is one of these unwritten rules in bridge that one spade, two hearts, always promises five. Other options, other things that we could do to uncover a 4-4 four, four heart set later, if it exists. So it's really nice to know if you don't have you know, a spade fit, you could bid two hearts to say you've got five and maybe uncover a 5-3 heart fit. But with only four, bidding two hearts is not available. So could she bid two diamonds? Well, that bid would certainly be forcing. It would suggest that she has four diamonds, but she's not really worried. Even if partner were to raise her diamonds, she's always going back to Spain, and we would be in a game force. So playing in diamonds is never going to become a real possibility. So that would be acceptable. Some people would need two clubs, artificial with only two to say, artificial suit, but there's a game. 
if I bid any other suit, diamonds would say I had at least four, arts would say I have at least five. So I may or may not have a spade fit with you. I may or may not have clubs. I certainly don't have five hearts and I certainly don't have four, uh, four diamonds. So that bid, um, I don't know if it has a name, it's just another version of a short club at the two level. But in this case, Marissa has chosen to bid two no trump. This is an alertable bid and playing face to face bridge, North would allow alert it as game forcing spade raise. On BBO, Marissa, who bid two no trump, would also type in game force GF spade raise. So once this two no trump bid is made, every bid hereafter is alertable. Anything that North now bids must be alerted because every bid has a specific meaning. So the first obligation of North is to bid a second five card suit if he has one. So does he have a second five card suit? No. His second obligation, if he doesn't have a five card suit, is to bid a minor, a one card suit or a void. So do you have a singleton or void, Tom? Yes, I do. So that suit we're going to bid at the three level. Now this is an alertable bid share with the opponents that this is shortness. And the definition of shortness in bridge um, is usually a singleton or void. A two card suit is known as a singleton. It's not normally referred to as being short, except when we open a short club. So this tells the whole table that Tom has one diamond at most, but he could be void. So now, Marissa, is there a possibility that we have a slam on this deal? Well, yeah. always a possibility because North is unlimited and South has a full opener. So in order to be able to bid for slam, <laughs> Marissa is now just going to bid three spades. So that starts the queue bidding process. Snake is going to pass. And now once Marissa has bid three spades, Tom is obligated to start queue bidding. On the way to four spades and possibly slam, irrespective of how many points he has, because Marissa is currently unlimited. So Tom has bid four clubs and Marissa is now going to bid the ace that she has, four diamonds. And Jake is gonna pass. And now when it comes back to Tom, does Tom have control of the heart suit? Now the ace would be a control and even the king singleton or the king doubleton would be control or even another singleton would be control, second round control, but he doesn't have it. The opponents could pick off the ace and king of hearts and he would have two losers. So he must skip over the heart suit and just bid four spades and leave it up to Marissa. The fourth spade says, sorry, partner. I know you're excited, but I do not have control of the heart suit. And now Marissa is going to pass because she's got second round control, but it might not stand up. She knows that her partner's got at least two. Terrible things could happen. No four spades. And that will end the auction. So to reiterate what we've learned so far, after a, a one of a major Jacoby two no Trump alert bid, the opener's first obligation is to bid a second good five card suit if he has one. Second on the list. 
Putin at the three level, if he has one. Everybody okay? Any questions? So far, so good. Second hand. Arithmetic has not changed one iota. It's just changed a little. Perfect. Perfect. This would be alerted, of course. A perfect pass by Jake. Now, a moment ago, we said that a new suit at the three level shows shortness. I think Tom needs to ask for an undo. So when we have a second five card suit, we can't fit it at the three level because that would say singleton. So we jump to the four level. Uh -huh. Now it has to be a five card suit. How do we define good? I think of it as a suit that can, that can be set up for only one loser. So when we look at this lovely five card heart suit, we're missing the king. So if we give up the king, if we play the ace followed by the king, or if we took a finesse and it lost the king, we will be able to get four heart tricks. By the time we get around to the eight, that's, unless there's a five Oh, split somewhere. That's going to be good. Okay. So four hearts sends the message. I have a very good five card heart suit in addition. So that's quite exciting. So Maria has got good controls and trumps and she's got uh, the king of hearts. That's probably the card that he's missing. He, he needs to be able to set up hearts for only one loser. She's got it. And furthermore, she knows about 10 of his cards. So she's got control of diamonds. And if he's got the ace of clubs, there's a very good chance of plan here. So Marissa is going to bid for no trump to ask. He's got the ace of diamonds that covers his singleton. He's got the ace of clubs. And this little four of clubs is probably going to go on the fifth heart. So ace of clubs and ace of spades and six spades is probably a lay down. Or no trump. How many do you have this time? Wow, three. So do you think he's got zero or three? Now it would be very difficult to construct a hand where he had zero Cards. So let's just see, that would give him, say, the, the jack of spades. Oh, but we know he must have the ace of hearts, but he must have three bullets. He's got three key cards, and Marissa has two. So this is perfect for, for bidding six hearts. And it might make seven. Six hearts, you said. Uh, six spades, I'm sorry, six spades. But I'm saying it, it would make six, six spades. So I did say hearts by mistake, but it might even make seven. So do we want to ask about kings? So I think you should undo your six spades. Oh, what is it? Um, Jake. Okay, Jake, I think you have to do an undo. Um, I don't know. Okay. Um, and now you can ask for Marissa. Okay. Uh, but I, I do not see where to do it. In oh, the yeah. blue hamburger. Yeah. There you go. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the help. Okay. So five I'm going to ask. So you, uh, I asked for kings. Okay. Five no Trump. No now, many of you play that you ask the number of kings, and a few people lately have been confused and think that they have to have like key cards. But most of us play a specific king. 
So when Marissa says, do you have any kings partner? Not counting the king of Trump. Do you have any kings? Well, look at, at Tom's hand. He has the king of clubs. It's six clubs to say, yup, I have the king of clubs. Well, that's a huge relief to Marissa because now she can almost look through the cards. She knows that we've got the ace, king, queen, um, and nine spades, or nine spades headed by the ace, king, queen. As long as they are no worse than three, one, we can pick up all the spades. She's pretty sure that he's got the ace, queen, jack, fifth of hearts, and she's got the king. So no heart loser. Got the ace king, he's got the ace king of clubs, so no club losers, and he's got a singleton diamond, so no diamond losers. So now Marissa can bid seven hearts. Seven hey. spades. Seven spades. Seven spades. Wouldn't matter. Mm -mm. So Rosemary, how Rose. does she know which suit to uh, how does uh, Tom know which suit to answer? The four no trump spades well, or hearts. Did anybody, hearts was, did anybody agree hearts? Which suit was the agreed trump suit? That I don't know. One oh, spades. spades. Two no trump is spades. Yeah. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Marissa had shown a spade fit. Okay. She had not shown a heart fit. Okay. We we have a number of questions, Rosemary. Rosemary, I have a quick question. The five diamonds shouldn't have been a five club because of three key clubs? No, we play 1430. So ace of spades, ace of hearts, ace of clubs, three, three key cards. 1430, zero or three is five diamonds. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so um, okay, so the next question. Um, so what I said was that, that some people play number of kings, but most of us who are more advanced play specific king. So his partner, I have the king of clubs. If he didn't have the king of clubs, the king of diamonds doesn't have the king of hearts, he would just bid six spades. Say, I don't have any kings to show you. But bidding six clubs says, I have the king of clubs. And that is so helpful for bidding seven because she knows there is no finesse necessary. She can count 13 tricks with her eyes closed. So that's I what specific kings. Excuse me, three questions in waiting. Okay. First question comes from Susan. How many points do you need to uh, bid the two no trump? You should have an opening hand with four trumps. Now, that's how I played it all my life until I started playing with Neil. Now, the difference between all of us and somebody like Neil is Neil is among the best in the world. He won a world championship as part of a team. So, they, they have lots of tools that, you know, beginner players, intermediate players, even people who call themselves advanced, don't always know. So, because there are nuances of the bid. So from the, from the very first time I sat down to play with Neil, Neil said that when he and I play together, I must reserve to no Trump for a hand that is planning go to slut slam. It's a slam going hand with control. So this hand has got a control in diamonds, a control in hearts, and very good spade. So we're already four, six, nine, and five is 14. We're already smelling the possibility of a slam. And as the auction unfolds, we can see that there's a definite slam here. So now, if I, if with my regular partners, I just play that as an opening hand, 13 and up with four trumps. But with Neil, I only play it if, I'm go, if I've got controls. So 
though, that we want to have a cue bidding process along the way. Mm -hmm. Second question from Michelle. Yes. I've been trained to not bid for no Trump with a worthless doubleton as shown in the South. What's your view? Um, I agree with that, except that in this case, we know about 10 of North cards. So, and, and where are his points? Um, he's, he's got five points at most in spades and seven points at most in hearts. That's a 12 count. It's quite possible that he could have um, an, ex, an ace somewhere else. Although we do know that he, I mean, he could be a five, five hand, but he could have a singleton club and a doubleton diamond and we would, could still have a slam. Okay, and the last question is basically to repeat uh, in the first sequence of bids, how it shows that you're referring to spades. Okay, so one spade, two no trump, says partner, I have a spade fit. I have four spades to go with your five. Spades is confirmed as trump. Now, North subsequently bid four hearts, but South never raised hearts. So her four no trump bid is, is based on spades as trumps. The same message that she sent with her first bid. Spades are trumps. Two no trump says spades are trumps. No other suit will be considered as trumps. We have nine trumps. Are you listening, partner? Spades are trumps. So I hope that makes it clear for Michelle and whoever else was wondering how I could be so certain. Um, one, one more thing. I yeah. think I, I can actually be sure that I could beat seven no Trump because I know we have 10 in the mayors. He has given me the ace of clubs and now he gives me the king. And I have the Ace of Diamonds, so. Um, I, I, would, I, I would leave seven no trump. Yes. For, for days when you've got the King of Clubs in your hand as well. He told me he had it. No, but just in case anything goes wrong. Okay. I mean, yes, it, it would make, this hand makes seven no trump. But they, um, I would prefer to be in spades. If I was playing with a partner that I knew was 100% certain of their bidding, I might bid seven no trump. But my advice to just about everybody who's at this session this morning is that when you have a fit in the major, you should play in the major and leave and the no trump outside. to the... Um, Dale, mute yourself. What? Mute yourself. I'm muted. Oh, you're not. Uh, Dale, we all heard that. Okay. Is there another question, Paul? Okay, so we'll move along to the next deal. No more. Thank you. So Tom, your hands change a little bit, but you still have a nice hand. I like it. Marissa? I'm, I'm, I'm a left hand. Wait. Okay, there it goes. Um, your hand has changed. Oh, very good. Can you see what uh, Marissa has written? Um, she's alerted her bid, she's self-alerted, which is what is required on BBO. Aim for speed support. Excellent, thank you. And that stays visible to, the, to only the opponent. Tom can't see this. Uh, he, might, you know, he might be able to see it because we've got all the hands open, I don't know, but normally a partner cannot see your own self-alert. It's there for the benefit of the opponent. On, on my BBO screen, I do not see it. I only see it on the uh, um, 
Oh. Zoom screen. Yeah. So, um, so the opponent want to get rid of that, you just click on it and it disappears. Now, if I forget what this alert was, I will click on the two no Trump and back the message comes. So passed, so two no Trump. So let's go through our responses. Do I have a second good five card suit? No. No, I do not. Do I have a, excuse me, a single token? No. no, I do not. Do I have a minimum opening hand or do I have extra values? 11, 14, I have, uh, I have a middle hand. <laughs> I have 14. Um, the minimum opening hand. Okay. Okay, so um, by minimum, if you think back to the mini midi maxi sheet that I may have shared with some of you, um, a mini opener is considered 12 up to about 14, 15. And a midi opener is a 16 to 18 hand. And a maxi opener is 19 or more. This is if we open at the one level. So four, seven, 14 falls into the mini opening range. So with a minimum opening hand, we go straight to game or spades. This says, partner, i am probably got 14 at most. I might have 15, but not been able to open one note. But I don't have a single. Maybe I have two doubletons. Who knows? But it's a minimum range, 15 max. So now what does Marissa have? Four, six, nine, and five is 14. 14 and 15 is 29. Plus, as somebody a moment ago said, a useless doubleton. There's no slam here. Pass. Okay. So it turns out that we can take quite a lot of tricks. Although we lose one heart and um, we probably have to lose a diamond. Unless they lead a diamond, we lose a diamond. So we'll make five on a diamond lead, we'll make six. I'm sorry. Um, East is leading, right? Mm -hmm. so very likely to lead a diamond. So it will go. And if he plays the queen, it'll lose to the king. If he rises with the ace, he has nowhere to get rid of his other diamonds. So they will always lose a diamond and a heart. So good stop. So this is our third choice. Do we have a minimum hand? If we do, we go rapidly to four space, say 15 max, probably only 14. Um, and now the hand has been limited, so South is in charge. South is not forced to pass. If South had 18, 19 points, they're still going to look for a slam. But Marissa with only 14, there's good enough, 14 or 15, good enough. So I hope everybody follows the logic behind that. I suspect Marissa is typing her alert. Very good. Thank you, Marissa. So I'm going to go slow. Excellent. So well, well worked out. So this time, let's go through our choices. Does Tom have a second good five card suit? No. Does he have a singleton? No. Does he have extras? Yes. Extras start at 16. So with extras, we're going to share that happy news with our partner by bidding our major at the three level. So three spades, his partner, I have at least 16. And I don't know if you're interested in a slam, but we should start Q bidding so we find out what we have. 
So this is the invitation to start cubiting. Four diamonds. I have the ace of diamonds. Now, how do I show the ace of clubs or, or do we not look at that now? Well, you know that the diamonds are now taken care of. Yes. You need to know how many cards she has all together to see if we dare bid um, six, six spades. So the only way you can find that out is to bid for no trump. Okay, then I take it. All right. Thank God. Because you know that she's got 13. 13 and 13 is 30. Even if you have to stop, then um, you probably will be able to make it at the five level. So five spades. He has two plus the queen of trump. Okay. Now, that means that 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 means I can see that we don't have the ace of um, uh, hearts. Well, we might have the ace of hearts, but not the king of spades. Oh, uh, okay. Or the other. Okay, one or the other. Okay. So, right. if he has the ace of hearts, then then you'd have to find the king of spades on a finale. Right. Got the king of spades. You've got no problem with spades. You could be losing, losing a lot. So maybe you should count. She's got the, um, you know, she's got the queen of spades. Right. Right. And let's give her the ace of hearts. That's six points. And the ace of diamonds is 10. It's got something else. She might have the Queen Jack of Cups. It doesn't help you. Right. In order to bid a slam, you really have to know whether she's got the King of Hearts or the Ace of Hearts. So I, I would pass, I would just bid five spades. Pass five. Leave it at five. Yeah. Okay. So because she's got the Ace of Hearts, it's on a finesse for the King of Spades. And right. if she's got Spades, you might have two hearts. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So please, please explain the five spade by self. Doesn't that say two aces? It says two key cards. So playing key cards, there are four aces, and the king of trumps is the fifth key card. So we now have to show zero, one, two, three, four, five. And there aren't enough bids available. So we double up. So playing 1430, which is what we decided for all of these sessions, clubs would be one or four. Diamonds would be three or zero. Arts is two. Spades is two, plus the queen of trumps. So here, Marissa answered five spades because she's got the ace of diamonds, the king of trumps, and also the queen of trumps. That is two plus the queen. So I think that Tom should probably uh, ask to undo his six spades. He's going to make six spades because she has the king of hearts. So, uh, so leave, leave it in. He makes six spades here. And of course, this is what happens frequently. People aren't sure. And the cautious people, as I am, would stop at five spades. And the gamblers, like Tom, no offense, Tom. It's kidding. No, it's okay. <laughs> six spades. So um, whatever it is, there we go. The defendant's going to make six. If she leaves the ace of hearts, it's a no-brainer. If she leaves the jack of diamonds, we have all the diamonds, all the clubs. The only loser we have is the ace of hearts. So it's a, it turns out to be cold for making six spades. So these are the, the, the possibilities. I'm going to go through them again. There are four possibilities. Anytime it goes one of a major, Jacoby two, no trump. First choice, do I have a second good five card suit? If yes, 
with that suit at the floor level. Second choice, do I have a singleton? If yes, bid that suit at the three level, singleton or void. Third choice, do I have a minimum hand or extras? Minimum, we go fast. Extras starting at 16, we bid three of our major. And that begins a queue bidding sequence on the way to game and maybe higher. So that's all you need to know about Jacoby Tuno Trump. It, it sounds like a really difficult situation, but it's really not. Now somebody says, what if North has 14 and a balanced hand? Well, let me ask you a question. Look at, look at the top hand now. Well, he's got 17 on this one, but the previous hand, he didn't have the King of Diamonds. So that was a 14 point hand with a balanced hand. And that's considered a minimum opening rate. So the bid would be four spades. Five, three, three, two would be the same thing. That's a balanced hand with 14 points. You go straight to straight to four spades. And of course, we've had spades the whole time on this little mini lesson. But it, everything we've covered would apply if hearts were the opening bid as well. One heart, two no trump, all the same responses. And no matter what response North makes to the two no trump, Jacoby two no trump bid, every bid he chooses is alertable. And please get into good habits of doing this. I get very frustrated in the open game when people who should know better fail to alert their bid. Now, sometimes it's because they just don't know uh, what to do. So somebody the other day, he bid three hearts. So I said, what does that mean? Because he's supposed to say shows extras. And he said, I have hearts. So I told my partner to keep quiet. So, so Rosemary, that three spade bid is 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 alertable. It, it's um, a game, game forcing with extras. Yeah, all you have to say is um, 60 plus. Because that's what it's saying. It's not saying anything about extra length in spades. It's not saying about, you know, anything except at least 16 points. Okay. So any more questions on this topic? Tomorrow I will be talking about Jordan to no Trump, which is very similar to this that we do it when the opponents interfere. So um, specifically when they double, as somebody asked me earlier today, was double considered interference? Yes. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. It will be very similar to this, but that's what we're doing tomorrow. Um, I also wanted to make an announcement that the, uh, the club has added a four o'clock game today and tomorrow, and I think every weekend, um, it's called Speedball. You get less time, I think only six minutes a board instead of seven. You'll play 12 boards, 12 sevens are, 12 sixes are um, 72. So a little over an hour to play these 12 boards and it's only $4. And of course you get points accordingly, whatever it awards for a 12 board game. Um, but it should be fun. And I encourage all of you to go and play in it and swell the numbers. It's another chance to get points. Um, it will be a little bit faster than you, the, than you might like. Uh, if I can get a partner, I'm going to go and play in it and support it because I think it will be fun. Um, they have canceled the 7.30 evening game because it was not well supported. So they're offering this instead. So finish play, get a cocktail, come back and play. Um, play on the basis of, um, you know, if, if you lose, you snooze, or drink and win, or gin, how about gin and win? That's a good way. <laughs> a lot of the seriousness and gravity of the game is taken away because you have to make decisions quickly and you may not, um, you may not get it right every time. But it's really a fun way and, and it will just be one game and open 
And I encourage you to play in it, even if you're playing against people who are much more advanced for you. That's where you will get exposure to bids that you don't yet know about, or you can watch the magic of somebody's play, or you can say, how did they defend so well on this board? And as always, you can go back later and go over a hat. And um, in this week's newsletter, I wrote a piece that came from a suggestion from one of our members who has requested all of his players never to congratulate their partner unless the opponents have congratulated them first. To keep the congratulations for private messages. And I think that that's an excellent suggestion. I really hope we can implement it here because somebody wrote to me the other day and said that um, they, they felt like they'd been insulted that their defense had let the opponents make this over trick. And it was almost like the opponents were gloating. Ah, well done partner. And, and it kind of made the person feel very intimidated and distressed. So I think that's a, a good thing just to Write a message to your partner, well done partner, or well played partner in the private chat when the, when the round is over, rather than in front of your partner, in front of the opponents. Okay. So, um, but it's a great way to learn how to do good things is by watching more experienced players do it at your table. And how else can you do it, see it, unless you play against them? So enough of that. I'm going to do a couple of random deals here. Rosemary, uh, before you jump into that, um, is everyone aware that you can get double dummy uh, from uh, uh, BBO just by hitting the hamburger on your history and, and going back through no. uh, the, the double dummy play? No, didn't know. Thank you. <laughs> All the hands are open, Rosemary. Oh, well, then we won't do this deal. Yeah, but you took my best hand. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Judy. <laughs> well, oh, I'm, I'm not the dealer. No, I, I get the bid. So I'm going to do a heart. What? Uh, oh, let's see, wait. Hmm. Very good bid, Judy. Some of you may be wondering how she can bid this, but she, um, you're thinking, what if her partner bids a particular suit? She has a plan. Well, I'd like to bid Marissa's hand. Marissa's passed. So now it's up to Jake. <laughs> oh. That's a, I'm going to pass that. I I want you to bid again. You want me to bid again? Okay. Then you've got a six card suit and you have a, you know. But I am vulnerable and I'm not getting any support. <laughs> well, the partner might you might be surprised. Yeah, I'll let, I'll take that chance. Okay. Okay, quite a bit. <laughs> Very good. So um, I'm going to ask Tom, because it, he's, he's the person playing the hand, but it's really an open question for everybody. How many hearts does South have? Um, she's leading the eight. I, I would say probably two. I think that's excellent um, inference, excellent deduction because we did not lead a singleton in our partner's suit. We know that, that East has got stoppers in hearts. So leading a singleton just gives her a free finesse. 
and our partner will never know that we only have one. So we should have an agreement that I'm not leading. If I don't lead it, I have a singleton or void and you're on your own. Um, that's number one. Number two, let's look at the cards that Tom is missing. He's missing the three, the five, the eight, the 10, three, five, eight, 10, queen, ace, right? So he should probably in, um, in East's hand. And if his partner had the three, the eight and the five and the three, she would lead the three, even if she wasn't strong enough to support him. So from that, I think that we probably have a doubleton. So now you know that there's six, two, four, two, one around. The so your only here is to force out her high cards that got entries, maybe. So maybe something good will happen later. So in fact, maybe you should let the, the eight force the trick. Oh, okay. Well, um, she's going to have to play a card higher than the eight. Um, we're, we're, sorry, we're going to go back. We're going to go back. I, I need everybody to undo. Oh, okay. So, um, play the six to encourage. So, play the six, okay. We still got an undo hanging out. Okay, there we go. So the way he's playing, he's playing low to the 10 line. So if we want to kick her off the dummy, we can't. <clears throat> well, last time the eight forced the ten. Okay, you're going to do, do it that way. Yeah, I'll do it that way. So Judy made an, an amazing bid. She doubled, and when her partner bid clubs, just took the plunge. Don't blame her. <laughs> and um, she she felt that she had the hearts really well protected. Very good.
<laughs> get an undo, Jake. So Jake certainly has four spades, but he's got a real little hand. He's got a six count and he has a fit. So you need to show the fit um, immediately. You really only have one bid. You need to show the fit straight away. Hmm. I've got fourteen. Okay. opponents found their happy fit? Yes. Found their happy fit. So Marissa doesn't have much. She knows that the opponents have got around 20 points and she's got nine. So she's entitled to think a partner could have, you know, nine or 10 points himself. But he wasn't in a position um, over two parts to, to really balance and he might not have a bid, but they have passed. So he's got some points that's guaranteed. So Marissa's job is to balance. So she can't, no, Marissa, you need to, an undo please. And another undo. You're not going to. Okay. So Marissa is going to bid. Now she cannot double because she's only got two spades. If her partner had five spades, the chances are he might have taken a bid. So she's just gonna take a deep breath and bid three clubs and pray that her partner's got some clubs. Now this is called balancing. And it's like, we don't mind going down in three clubs. A partner would pass if he had at least three. He might even pass with two because she rates to have five of them. But he's not going to do anything. He's just going to say, thank you for balancing. And, you know, it's going to work out quite well. Now, if he had a singleton club or a doubleton club, he would he did his cheapest four card suit and hope that something good would happen. Like if these clubs were diamonds, he would correct to diamonds probably. So you, you take your life in your hand when you balance. But she's got a nine count. She knows her partner has about 10 points because they stopped in their happy fit. So we would rather go down in three clubs than let them make two hearts. It's mean and uncharitable, but it's part of the game. So if, if balancing like this makes you uh, uncomfortable, Rest assured, it makes all of us uncomfortable, but it's still the thing to do. Okay. So, three clubs. So, now um, Jake is certainly not going to bid three clubs, three, three hearts. He's got a six count and three hearts. And Judy passed two hearts. So she's unlikely to go any higher. So, we're going to buy it. Now, they're going to do their darndest to defeat the contract. We have a question. Could North balance as well with five clubs? He could, but it's such an ugly suit. He doesn't really want to, um, he, he doesn't want partner to leave clubs. So it's a horrible. And the other way around, he might. If it had gone one heart pass, two heart pass, pass back to him so that he was in the balancing seat, then he, then he would be two clubs. He might be two spades. I, I would bid two spades on my fourth and then pray that they bid three hearts. But <laughs> my job is to, to push them to the three level. They're happy at the two level. And very often they do. You know, one of them's got an extra heart and they bid three hearts or they, they don't know Rosie's rule so they bid three hearts with only eight of them. And um, so, you know, you take your life in your hands, but it's part of the game. 
if somebody said to you, well, you can let them make two hearts and be minus, minus 110, or you can stick your neck out and maybe minus 50 or minus 100 if whatever suit you, you hit on goes down one or two. Is it worth it? Sure thing. That's how you have to think about it. Now, if you were vulnerable and they're not, maybe not so much. I'm going to stop recording at this point and thank everybody 